Forensic science is a critical part of the criminal justice system, with its findings often playing a significant role in criminal investigations and court cases. However, for decades, critics have argued that the methods used in forensic analysis are not always reliable or scientific. The consequences of faulty forensic evidence can be severe, with wrongful convictions and wrongful incarcerations being among them. In this video, we will explore some of the most common forensic techniques and the ongoing efforts to make them more consistent and reliable. One of the most common forensic techniques is single-source DNA analysis. The process of creating a DNA profile by collecting samples of blood, hair, semen, or skin cells from a crime scene and using chemical extraction and amplification techniques to analyze the DNA fragments. Many states now have databases with DNA profiles of past arrestees, allowing for comparison to identify matches. The PCAST report found that single-source DNA is a reliable forensic technique, but it can still be subject to human error if samples are tainted or mislabeled in the field or lab. Ballistics analysis can help determine the type of weapon used in a crime. A 2022 study in the Journal of Forensic Sciences found that professional analysts had a strong accuracy rate for correctly identifying bullets and cartridge cases. The study recruited 173 participants, and about 80% of them did not make errors in identifying either the bullets or the cartridge cases. However, the study also found that most errors were made by just a few participants, with 13 participants responsible for more than half of the errors and 6 participants making 30% of the errors. The results were consistent with other firearm studies. Bloodstain pattern analysis BPA, is a forensic technique used to provide additional information to law enforcement at a suspected murder scene such as determining whether a fatal gunshot resulted from suicide or homicide or if a struggle occurred in a self-defense claim. While BPA has been accepted in court for over 150 years, the technique has faced criticism for its high error rates. In a 2021 study, 75 practicing analysts reviewed 192 bloodstain patterns and had an 11.2% error rate and 7.8% contradiction rate. The authors suggested that streamlining terminology and limiting semantic disagreements could lessen these rates and prevent serious consequences in real-world applications. Fingerprint analysis is a technique used in investigations to identify a fingerprint left at a crime scene or on a weapon, and compare it to suspects or stored databases. The reliability of the method was called into question after the 2004 Madrid subway bombing, when the FBI falsely accused a lawyer based on a fingerprint match. Since then, the FBI has conducted empirical studies to improve reliability. The 2016 PCAST report concluded that the method had become foundationally valid, but warned of false positives and cited one study with an error rate of 1 in 306 cases and another with a rate as high as 1 in 18. Multiple source DNA analysis is used when there are DNA samples from multiple individuals at a crime scene. However, the technique is not yet foundationally valid for analyzing complex mixtures, such as touch DNA. One high-profile case involving touch DNA was the conviction of American University student Amanda Knox for the 2007 murder of her roommate in Italy. Knox was later exonerated, highlighting the need for caution in the use of this technique. Forensic science is a crucial part of the criminal justice system, and ongoing efforts are being made to improve the reliability of forensic techniques. Empirical research has played a critical role in identifying consistent flaws with forensic techniques and improving accuracy rates. As forensic science continues to evolve, it is essential to ensure that the methods used are reliable, consistent, and grounded in empirical evidence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to stay updated on future videos, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your support is greatly appreciated.